after you install your system and you go ahead and just load your app and open your app up once it finds it make sure your phone or Android device is sitting on the same network once it finds it and opens up this is what it's going to look like uh, what you have here are the two an analog sources that you have in and the two media streams along with your audio button okay right here this is your zone button so what you do you go hit the tap your zone button that shows you all the zones that's available to you I have two systems sitting on this network so it's seeing these two systems that I have on here okay so I'm going to see eight zones at that point just go ahead and you select the zone that you would want to you can go ahead and select the source for that zone In this case we can choose CD or we can choose uh, MP3 and you can see it, it actually lights up here to let you know what source is selected first time you hit your media tab one or two it's going to take you to this screen here on this screen you have a list of favorites those favorites are created later on once you build a library okay you also have tune in radio the tune in radio is kind of ready to go if you go ahead and just hit that from here you can choose local radio stations music talk sports if we just choose music from here we can go down and we can choose a genre of music that may we want let's let's do disco that should be fun from there you just go ahead and you select a disco station uh, that you would want to play it takes a few seconds to buffer after it buffers uh, the station will go ahead and start to play the station gives you data of uh, the artist and the song that's playing. Okay, if I wanted to play that same station in another zone, I would just go back to here, go back to my zone tab, go ahead and select another zone and just select the same source for that zone. And that same source will play in that zone. Okay, I'm going to go back to our original zone here, which was uh, zone 2. Okay, we're going to go ahead and back out of our media. We're going to go back here and back here. Now, once you leave the station, the music will stop and takes you back to the categories. Okay, we're going to back up even further. Back up to show you your local music library. What your local music library is, any content or music that you have stored on this Galaxy tablet or any iPhone or whatever, whatever device you are using to connect, and control that zone with becomes a local music library so any music that you have downloaded on that device can be played across the entire network into any zone next thing I want to show you is the Pandora now the first time you log on to the Pandora it's going to ask you for your account information so at that point you would go ahead and you'll enter your account information once you put in your Pandora user's name and password Pandora shows up on the media tab uh, to select Pandora just go ahead and select Pandora at this point you have all of your Pandora music available to you and you can just simply go ahead and select what you want and hit play now and it will go ahead and we'll play that in that zone now if you want to play something different in another zone uh, other than that because right now we're using uh, Pandora media 2 to go to a different zone right here and say choose Pandora Media 1 you do have two streams of Pandora so you can technically uh, play two streams of Pandora in two different areas or multiple different areas at the same time if I want to play the same stream of course in one area I'll go back up in that zone and just go ahead and select that same Pandora stream for the same area Okay, so if I wanted to choose something like TuneIn Radio or uh, my music library, I would just simply make the selection at this point. Next thing I'm going to show you is the audio button. With the audio button here, what it shows you are all the zones that's available to you. The space on four at a time. So if I was to go to my next unit, I would go to zone five and it would show me five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, but what this allows you to do is go ahead and make source selections right here select different sources in every zone and you can do all of this from one page here as you can see I'm going through all of the pages here now what I have also allows you to turn on and off those zones so you can tell by the light being on and off right there if that zone is active or inactive but it's a cool way to see all of your zones and maybe get all of your zones on the same source at the same time you have separate volume control for all of your zones uh, and you can see them all in one area and that's one way to set up a party mode on there but you have to 
bit more work because you're doing it manually one at a time. Of course, the best way to do that is to go ahead and link zones together, and I'll show you that. Next thing I'm going to show you, you have to take a step back here, is this. This is the EQ button. Go ahead and push the EQ button. On the EQ button, it allows you for every zone, each and every zone, individually, to set up bass. Uh, you can set up treble, uh, max volume, a power on volume. Uh, this right here, if I want to set a power on volume, say 46%, this will let me enable that. You can enable and disable that because sometimes you may not want that power on volume. You have a loudness button. It also gives you a mono button. You can make that a mono zone if you choose to. Okay? Every zone will have this EQ, which is uh, really good because some zones are going to have different speakers or different room sizes or just different uh, dynamics to the room. If I'm holding in these speakers right here, up top, what that does, that takes me to the web interface. The web interface is where I'm going to do maintenance on my system or make any changes to my system. First thing you see right here, this is the other information about my Mini 4. Um, this is my Mini 4's ID. Uh, this is the temperature of my Mini 4. This is my firmware version. Okay, this is my IP address. If I needed to change IP information, I could do that right here. I could simply... Hit that right there, and I can go from uh, static IP to DHCP. We do suggest always put a static IP into your system, but if you need to change that address, just go ahead and tap on it there. And it'll allow you to go ahead and put in the new number there. Let me hit that again. Break up the keyboard, allows you to go ahead and put in a new number there. Okay, also on this page, I can go ahead and I can change uh, my time zone. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and go to North America on here and make that change. Hit done. Any changes that you make on any page, you want to hit save changes at the bottom of that page or else they will not change. Other things I can do while I'm in the web interface is go ahead and hit zones. This is where I'm going to change my zone information. So if I wanted to actually change my zone names at this point, okay, it shows both of the units. Remember I said I had two units, so it's showing both units here. If I want to make a, a, a name change on this zone, I would just simply go ahead and tap that right there. Brings up the keyboard. And I can go ahead and make that if I like to bedroom. And there you go. Then I would save that change there. Remember, if I want to save any changes or all changes, you go to the bottom and hit save changes. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and name another zone. Just going to go ahead and hit that button there. Another way to change your zone name is this. If you have a this feature on any of your devices, you can do this. Go ahead and hit that. I'll just go ahead and I'll hit the microphone on that. Bob's Room. I can go ahead and save that change there. Okay. Now, a lot of your smart devices now have that feature. This is the exact same microphone that you use for text messaging or anything else, but it does work on this feature here. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, another thing you can do in this area is zone linking. The way zone linking works is this. If you like to link zones together, in other words, I want to have zone one, bedroom, and Bob's room work together. So I create a link between the two and make them a group. Once I save that, it becomes a group right here. And the group ID is 1. If I was to add another group, that becomes group 2. I could decide what I want to work between those groups. This would allow me to control power between the two groups. This would allow me to control volume between the two groups. Right here, that would allow me to service this if I want to connect or disconnect or add another zone or anything like that. That's how I would service this area right here, and I would just go ahead and save those changes there as well. If I wanted to, so now what I did, I added 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if I wanted to delete this group, I would just simply go ahead and hit the red X there. It would ask me, and I would go ahead and clear that group. Okay, remember, any changes that we make, we should go to the bottom and go ahead and save our changes. Okay, we have a source button on here, the source button right here, in large. That also allows you to identify your sources. Uh, it allows you to change the name of your sources as well and set source gain. Okay, I have a media tab, and on the media tab, this is where if I had a NAS drive or any computers or things on my network with music on them, 
uh, music service, I'd go ahead and I put the path in for these devices right here. And once again, I go ahead and put the path and make sure I go ahead and save it at the bottom there. If I was to create a favorites list for my favorites list here, back out of it, just go ahead and close the app and then just reopen it. We'll take you back to this page. Last thing I need to show you on this is this window here. I'm going to back up and right here where it says CD right now, but what this is, when I choose a zone or a location, I have these sources available. But if I have more than one unit, I have other sources connected to other units. This allows me to access any other source that's on any other unit. And remember, this system is expandable to 32 zones, which gives me at least 16 different options of music that will show up on my list here that I can choose from. Any other source from any other player can be played in any other zone by selecting this. We call these actually remote sources to select a remote source. And that is the basic function of the Mini 4. Uh, the most important thing, of course, is the volume right here. Power, mute, goes without saying. Thanks for watching. This is the Axiom Mini 4.